building your own custom bin view can really allow you more power and being able to see the media you have in your system. To do this, what we need to do is we can start with any one of these pre-built bin views, or in my case, I'm going to start at custom because it's got nothing extra. And then I'm going to go down to the fast menu and choose columns here. One little side note, this is also under the bin menu where you can choose columns. It's really the same thing. And I can pick whatever columns I'd like to pick. Now, I no longer want to see the color, so I'm going to deselect the color. I'm going to add to this the duration of our clips. I'd like to know how long they were. I'm also going to add what drive are they on, because I want to make sure that my footage is on the right drive. And we're going to add what tracks this clip actually uses. With these set, I'm going to say OK, and we'll see them listed for us. When you do create your own custom set of headings here, your own custom columns, you're going to want to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to save this based on its name. I'll call it Duration Drive. If you wanted to delete one of these columns, all you'd have to do is click on the column and press Delete. Notice I'd have to update my name here. It's no longer the same. When I say Duration and Drive and I choose it again, it'll resurrect the Drive column. So I'll either have to save it with the same name or save it under a new bin view.